going to show you how to do the Jenny Gammy toolbox. We have a completed card here that we just made a pocket at the bottom to put the toolbox in and when it's lifted out it falls immediately into its 3D shape. As you can see there is a hammer and a spanner and some screws inside the toolbox and you can of course add somebody's name to the outside of this if you wish and then just fold it flat again and slip it back into the pocket on the card. These are all the parts that you need. We have the handle section, which is in the middle of the toolbox. We have the two sides of the toolbox. We have the front and the back of the toolbox. And then we have the four sections that go inside with the hammer, the spanner, and the two sets of screws. And these can actually go in any order that you wish. We then have a strengthening bar that goes down the bottom just to help and we have an extra spanner and some extra screws on the templates just in case you want to embellish the front of the card. I'm going to start by taking the middle handle section and the two side sections and I'm going to take the slot at the bottom of the side and the slot at the top of the side and slot these inside the edge of the handle here by slotting over at the bottom and then bending the card and slotting it under at the top. Again, don't be afraid to fold your paper as with all the Jenny Gammy designs. I'll do the same at the other side, over at the bottom, bend the card and under at the top. Once I've done this, I'm then going to lay my Jenny Gammy design flat and I'm going to take the section with the screws and I'm going to slot it under the end here and into the section here. You can then maybe see what I've started to do here. I'm then going to take the strengthening bar, the middle slot in here goes under the handle and the next one goes under the screws. But what I'm going to do is again I'm going to do this while it's flat because it actually makes it easier and stops it from falling apart. Right. So what we then have is an end section, a strengthening bar, some screws and another end section. We're then going to take the hammer and we're going to slot the hammer under this section, over the strengthening bar section and under the handle section and then we're going to take the edge one and we're going to slot that over this section, under the strengthening bar section and over the final end section. You'll then be able to see what I've started to do is the first side has started to build together. We're then going to build the second side and I'll show you a bit more clearly in a second. Just slot that one back in. So the first side has been built on by slotting them over and under. We're then going to do the next section. Again we lay it flat again and this time I'm taking a spanner, I was going to call it a screwdriver but it's a spanner. I'm going to slot this end one under this section here and it will naturally fall into the right place because it will line up with the hole in the strengthening bar there that it goes under and then again it will line up at the end here to go under this section. I'm then going to take my screws and this one will go under the remaining hole here into the strengthening bar at this part and under the end section here and this just leaves the final part which goes over the end section under the strengthening bar and over the end section so I'm practically building the whole of this while it's lying flat and it stops it falling apart and then when you lift it up Oops, my little screwdriver, screwdriver spanner has got caught. Fold it in both directions just to help everything fall into place. And there you have your completed Jenny Gammy toolbox.